Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Industry Outsider. So today we're gonna be covering a few different things. We're gonna be talking about Christopher Ward's new releases. I also have a tease slash reveal for a watch I'll be highlighting in an upcoming video. And I have a couple unboxings for you as well. I feel so smart today. Before we jump into the video, let's do a wrist check. Today, I'm wearing my Dan Henry 1970. Dan Henry is a micro brand that makes vintage inspired watches with Seiko movements. I'll probably make a video about this watch at some point, but for now, let's jump into another brand that I really like, Christopher Ward. They recently released a new collection of colorful 36 millimeter Sealanders, but they're all limited editions. And by limited, I mean really limited, 200 each. Like the aqua was gone by the time I saw the Instagram post. I like the colors. Though, admittedly, we've been seeing a lot more of these colorful dials lately. Regardless, these are some attractive dials and I do find the 36 millimeter size very intriguing. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that everybody jumped on the aqua, though I do feel that it's a bit more of a turquoise than a Tiffany blue specifically. It's still close enough that it's hitting this trend dead on. And of course it's sold out immediately. So I didn't get my hands on one. Come on, Christopher Ford, 200? Man, that's just mean. I bought one of your watches before and I've always liked many of your designs, but I would not have been able to stop myself from picking up one of these had it still been available. I just don't understand this fascination that watch companies seem to have with limited editions lately. They come up with great colors on good or great designs and then you just can't get them. Showing me a watch that I really like but can't have doesn't make me want to buy one of your other models more. Though, admittedly, I do really like some of your other designs as well. 200 was just too few. But hey guys, the other colors in this collection are not sold out and they look pretty good as well. Okay, now it's time for the unboxing. So recently, Wyatt Gilmore from Grant Stone reached out to me through email. Apparently, he saw my Grant Stone diesel boot video and he really liked it. Also, other fun fact about Wyatt, he is a big Black Bay 58 fan as well. So after him and I chit chatted a little bit about watches and boots, he offered to send me another one of their best selling boots, the brass boot. So now let's go ahead and open these bad boys up. So I got my brass boots in the color crimson. I'm not really sure why it's called crimson because honestly it looks more like a true brown to me than having any sort of reddish under hues whatsoever. But first impressions, the stitching looks awesome. They're a little bit heavier than I expected, but that's totally fine. I also really love the mock toe on these. Anyways, I'm super excited to wear these and break them in over the next couple weeks so I can talk about them on the channel. Big thank you to Grant Stone for sending these boots to me, even though my channel is still in its infancy. I really do appreciate it. And I'm thrilled to be adding another pair of Grant Stone boots to my rapidly growing boot collection. Now let's talk about the upcoming watch content I have planned for you guys. So I recently got my hands on one of Oris's new releases, the Aquas Bico. It's available in two different colors on a bracelet and a strap option. So you have the blue and gold option and the green and gold. While I think the blue and gold is very eye-catching, I got my hands on my personal favorite, the green and gold. I just think the green and gold is a great color combination and this watch really pops in the sunlight. That's also 18 karat gold on the ceramic bezel and on the handset. The watch also features Oris's in-house movement, the Caliber 400, and still manages to retail for less than say something like an Omega Seamaster 300. Anyway, I'm just really excited to shoot this video and talk about this watch on the channel. I've been playing around with my macro lens a lot, trying to up my macro game so I can make better content for you guys. I think I just about have the lighting and the settings near perfect. So I should have that video up for you in the next couple of weeks. Okay, now it's time for a second unboxing. So I have already taken these out of the package they were shipped in. These boots actually arrived a little bit sooner than I was expecting, although I was excited. I wasn't planning on necessarily making it part of this episode, but I figured I'd unbox them for you guys. I've heard a lot of great things about Wolverines, so I picked up a pair of Wolverine Thousand Mile boots. I wasn't planning on buying these boots, but when I was perusing the website, they were on sale. So I got them for over 50% off and they're absolutely 
absolutely gorgeous and I just had to have them. So I picked up these boots in the color Bone. It's just a really light tan and apparently they're supposed to patina very nicely over time. Something I was really excited about was the leather soles, but there is rubber on the heel, so I shouldn't be sliding around too much. And then the other interesting thing about these boots is they don't have a leather lining, so I'm curious how comfortable they're gonna be on my feet. Not only did I get these boots on sale, but Wolverine also sent me a free gift. These really heavy duty gloves. Now they're not gonna do me much good in the summertime, but come winter walking around the city, I'm gonna be really happy I have these. So between my new Wolverine Thousand Mile and the new Grant Stone Brass Boots, I have a lot of fun footwear content planned for you in the near future. I know I've said this to a few of you in the comments section before, that this is not exclusively a watch channel, even though we do focus very heavily on watches here. It is whatever else feels like talking about channel. And that means watches, boots, leather goods, and as we get into the fall, we'll probably talk about outerwear as well. If there is any particular kind of content you'd like to see more of, do let me know in the comments down below. I'm always open to my viewer suggestions. Real quick before we wrap things up, sometimes in my industry outsider videos, I do have a segment where I answer questions from my viewers. And since I haven't done it for a few episodes, I'll probably do it in my next outsider video. However, I did wanna address this question real quick because at this point I've gotten it from multiple people and I have not answered any of you. The truth is, I don't know. The strap was actually a gift. Later, I'll take the strap off of the watch and I'll see if I can find a brand name. If I can, I'll put a link in a pinned comment down below for you guys, but that is unfortunately the best I can do. Anyway, as always, if you have a topic you'd like covered or a question you'd like answered or possibly featured in a future video, let me know in the comments down below. I do really enjoy all the feedback that you guys leave me, even if I can't always get to everyone. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.